Well, a very good evening, everybody. I hope you're keeping well. Greetings from Suarez HQ, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. I can tell you this. You're in for a very, very interesting evening, which is one, as you can see from behind me, I'll talk you through in a moment, is going to be one to remember. But right here, right now, I think we'll ask the great man to roll some credits and we'll be back to you in 30 seconds. For a very, very... Okay, welcome back everybody and thank you for joining us this Wednesday evening for another um, unmissable Suarez live stream. We're going to say a quick hello to everybody joining us over in the corner on Instagram. Instagram wherever you are, good evening everybody. Can't wait to get going this evening. We'll do some shout outs, we'll do some hellos and we'll join in the fun as the uh, evening goes on and see what everybody's going to have a chat about. But in the meantime... There's a couple of things we need to do first, and our first one is to say hello to the great man over in control. It's AD. Hello, good evening. How are you doing today, matey? Hello. Uh, not great, but I'm here, and I will fight through this. Unfortunately, I've had the uh, proverbial inoculation, shall we call it? And I'm not sure if anybody out there has had it, but it's basically kicks the living daylights out of you for 48 hours. So, yeah, I've been suffering with that, but the show must go on, as they say. Yeah, absolutely, buddy. Thank you so much. And, um, you know, he, he's, he's suff very much suffering today. And uh, we, we can't do it without him, but he's here and making it all happen for us. Can I also, while we're talking uh, about the legend that is AD, introduce everybody to what you see behind me. We promised it. It's here. We've done all the setup, which I might add has taken five hours. It's here, the world's only barrel painting machine. This is going to be spinning round. And this, look, yes. I'm, look, here I am. Instagram, you can't see this. If you want to see this camera angle, head over to YouTube right now. Can you see that? I normally wear a chest cam, as you know. But another one of Ada's miraculous achievements over the last 48 hours has been to repurpose chest cam. And guess what, everyone? This is going to rotate round when the barrel goes round. I kid you not. So, not only do we owe a massive debt of gratitude for getting all this assembled, lined up and spot on precise with all these levels, but we've also got this incredible camera angle where nobody else on the planet is going to think of anything like that. So I think, buddy, you should give yourself a big round of applause and we'll do a test rotate. Okay? Right. <laughs> right, should, should we do a test rotate, everybody, before we do the other cameras? No? Okay. Corn, yep. Yeah. Hello, corner cam. Right, yes, let's go through the other cameras. Right, PT said, let me walk around. Okay, here we go. Right, there we are. Ta da! Now you can see what's going on. PT said. So, one of the really cool things while we're on this camera is we're going to be going down here, guys. Yes, yes, yes. I've disappeared, Instagram. Sorry. Down here, we're going to be capturing what happens when the paint comes off the barrel. <laughs> Two for the price of one. How exciting is that? Don't go anywhere. All right. Then, whilst... No, I'll go over here. Let's say hello to overhead cam. Well, hello there. How are you doing? So we've repositioned this... Well, we've repositioned all the cameras this evening just for this particular broadcast. So we're going to be doing some amazing things with all the cameras. Hopefully we'll be giving you some fantastic angles and things you've never seen before. And last but not least, chest cam. Woo, let's go a bit closer. Chest cam, here we go. I can also adjust chest cam and I can move it that way and that way and we can go up and down so you never know what might happen. 
buddy, are we ready for a test rotate? Here we go. This is our roller coaster ride. We're going to count down. Gosh, I hope it works now. Right. Are we ready? Let's count down from three. And two, one, go. We are go. We are go, everybody. Look at that. We are spinning round. Now, we've only got it on the very low setting at the moment. Instagram look, it works. Everything works. Let's give you a little bit of a shot over here so you can see what's going on. Amazing. Right. So we've got the camera over there. Look, spinning round. Fantastic. How does that look? Hmm? Let us know. Give us your thoughts and your feedback. I've got a feeling that's going to look pretty amazing. Look at that. Right, Instagram. Let's pop you there so you can really see what's going on. There we go. Now, here's what is also cool. If you didn't see the last time we did this, which I think probably is about a year ago. Right. Are you ready? Here we go. Let's 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 get a bit faster. There we go. We're going faster. Do you want to, do you want to go a bit faster? Should we go a bit faster? Right. Scream if you want to go faster. There we go. Look at that. We're going a bit quicker. We can go quicker still, but I don't want to peak too soon. There we go. Look. Everything works. How epic is that? I think the word you're looking for is very. Right. Okay. Tell you what we're going to do then. Um, let's, and we'll drop that down just a little bit. We're going to keep that just spinning around. Make sure everything is all right. Okay. And we'll stop it just about there. Wowzers. Which camera are we on, buddy? Isn't. I mean, look. Isn't this incredible? And believe it or not, I had my iron out on this earlier on, uh, just to try and get get it sort of shrunk around the barrel. I kid you not, just to prove I do an awful lot of ironing. Oh, sorry, Instagram. <laughs> there you go. Look, our trusty iron. This is what I was using this, this afternoon. Uh, honestly, wait till the weekly vlog comes out. I hope everybody's tuned in. OK, one went out on Monday. Did you see Monday's weekly vlog? I hope you did. OK, it's available on the channel showing what we get up to, all the behind the scenes here at Suarez HQ. And you can Why, see... yes, I did. <laughs> uh, what channel is that again? That is uh, Suarez Art on YouTube, buddy. It's funny you should say that. Suarez Art on YouTube? Yes, that's correct. Well, hey, I may pop over there and have a look. I'd suggest you do. It's very enlightening. The videos are fantastic. Are those two, Thank you. Those two, those two chaps on, on, in front of the camera are, are honestly just superb. They really are. Right. So, yes, guys, if you want to see how all this was done, how it was put together, everything from start to finish, that will be live in a few weeks' time. But don't forget, every single week now, now we've found a proper video editor, we're doing our weekly vlogs, and they are epic. So make sure you go check those out. Brilliant. Right, so we're going to do some hellos, and we're going to pop the extractor on, and I'm going to get some some gloves on as well, because you know what time it is when I get the gloves on. Oh, let's, let's do a few hellos and then we'll put the extractor on, shall we? So, there we go. So, who have we got in the house this evening? Uh, that nice Suarez fellow. Good evening. Yeah, Lucio has been waiting patiently. So is Cameron and Richard, who has said, roll out the barrel. Love it. And Andy Hill. Good evening, Andy. Oh, Richard watched the video. Fantastic. Yes, everyone, head over and watch the video. Uh, Cali Cara Shocker. Gremlins again? Yes, quite possibly. And the Rita is here, and Ian Holmes, and uh, Zane Taylor says there's a whole barrel of Suarez monkeys. Excellent. Angela Smith. Hello, Angela. Trina has joined us. Rurutu M. Ah, oh, beautiful day. 60 degrees, says Trina. Fantastic. Right, who else have we got? Kat's joined us. Good evening. And, uh, oh, Ian Holmes asks a question. I'll get Aidy to answer that for you in a little while. But who else have we got? Uh, Nelson has also joined us from Sao Paulo. And uh, Tavanda Studios, Mark Begbie and Stephen Burrows. This is so nice. Everybody is here. Uh, Richard says, are the video blogs always on the same day? Probably Sunday or Monday. Most likely they're going to be a Sunday evening, Richard. So just turn on your bell icon. And uh, hopefully your device that you watch on should tell you when they're live. Okay, fantastic. Right, while I say hello on Instagram, I think Aidy's going to go and pop the extractor on. Right, who have we got? Oh, ah, Paula Jones. Hello, Paula. Very nice to see you, Paula. And who have we got? Uh, Mira Massoon and Stella's Art. 
This is nice. Studio House Productions are here. Art in Peace has joined. Sarp Duredas joined. I can't even pronounce that. Sorry. I can barely speak my own language. Amaricio. I can't say. Oh, right. Hang on. Yes. Hello, Amaricio. Yeah, go for it, mate. We're going to switch the extractor on. Yes, we're ready. Three, two, one. That's it. The extractor is on. Uh, oh, right. Can we all still hear my voice? I hope we can. Philip Bissell says hello. Hello, Philip. We're just about to get going. Uh, Bert Ernie is here. Hey, Bert Ernie. Fantastic. Right. I'm going to keep talking and uh, let's bring Instagram. Let's bring you guys around here so you can see what's going on. La, 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 la. Right. So I'll check in with AD. Can you hear me, buddy? All right. Fantastico. So you can hear me. Yes. So AD is just going to speak to Ian and I'm going to mix up some paints. Hi, Ian. Uh, no, still the same setup as last time. Just all I've done is popped the camera on with the video sender unit. It's just made sure that it's leveled up as best as possible, oiled the various uh, bearings that need uh, oiling. But it is the same setup as we've done last time. Pop and have a quick look at uh, the previous barrel painting videos and you'll see. Um, it may be the camera angles are slightly different and obviously we know that we've got the barrel camera angle, which is a new one. But yeah, that's it. It is basically the original setup. Just uh, made sure everything was tightened up and tweaked and adjusted and leveled. Okay, fantastico. Thanks, mate. Yeah, he's, he's worked very, very hard today. And he's uh, not uh, not in the best of shape. So uh, let's hope everything, let's hope I could do it justice, eh? <laughs> right, okay. Let's walk you through what's going on here. So we were having a discussion earlier on uh, about actually what to do with the painting this evening. Okay, so we've got lots of options as to things we can do with a rotating barrel, of course. You know, we can go side to side. We can, well, we can do all kinds of weird and wonderful things. But one thing I haven't done for quite some while is uh, go from light to dark. It's very, very tempting just to stick with a couple of colours. Um, but the guy that bought the last barrel painting that we did, bear in mind, I think we've only done two or three in the past, loved the fact that actually it was almost like horizons that you've got all these amazing lines going on all over the place. So I think we kind of were having a little chat just before we came on air. And I think we're probably going to do this, a similar sort of thing. That is until I probably chuck just a great big load of paint all over it right at the very end or something random. But actually, for now, I quite like this idea of going light to dark. And this actually, and I'm going to speak to every single person watching, okay? Especially those of you who might be watching who aren't on the chat, okay? Purple. <laughs> I may very well Purple. be asking. Purple. May, I may be asking for your help in a little while. So if you're not already signed in, Please do so and get involved. Oh, Sammy Taylor in. is here. I'm signed in. You're signed in, are you, mate? Purple. <laughs> I'm signed in. Uh, right. Okay. So, what have we got? Oh, Manuela has just joined. And, and uh, yeah. Start over here. Yeah. Okay. Right. Fantastic. Yeah. So, to answer Callie, yes, the gremlins were there earlier. Uh, but hopefully we uh, we should be pretty okay now. We should be able to get through the broadcast fairly straightforward, having ironed out most of those. Right, okay, we're spinning, guys. We are spinning. Here we go. Are we ready to get some paint on? I think, hope that we are. Right, Instagram, let's bring you guys down here a little bit. There we go. Right, so I'm up with the whole light and dark. What do we all think then? Should we go light and dark and see what happens throughout the middle? I think we should do. Uh, Jean-Baptiste, good evening. And Sandy, uh, great, fantastic. Nice to hear you. <laughs> Ian wants Suarez blue. You always want Suarez blue. <laughs> right, let's get ourselves some brushes over here. Got a feeling I'm going to need them. So we'll start tonight, I think, folks. Let's, uh, if you're ready, uh, dude, um, let's go. So let's get a band. Of, oh. Oh, and by the way, we've still got what's going on on the bottom, so that's going to be interesting to see what happens there. Right, here we go, look. 
Here we go, here we go, here we go. There we go. Let's get the black on. Beautiful. That'll be interesting to see what the uh, cam's picking up at that end. Right, so. <laughs> oh, and there's a whole heap of black on the bottom already. Right, let's get this sort of spun round a little bit. There we go. I'll come round the corner in just a second. Now, there's so many variables I have to consider when I'm doing this. How far the bands have got to go. I'm looking at the rotational speed and thinking, can I keep up with it? I don't know if I can. This is going to be fun. Well, let's just get some black on now. This is just about the colour, guys. We can s slow it down. We can do stuff with it. All right, let's just... I just need to get this on before it starts to dry. And then we can worry about our straight lines after that. Okay. Here we go. Look, let's get it right to the edge. So, great question from Zane. Thank you very much for asking that. Do we secure or fix down the canvas onto the barrel? Yes, Zane, we do. So this is almost like stretching it around the frame. But instead, it's, we've stretched it around the barrel. And it's actually one of the reasons why we iron it, because as it loosens, as it gets hot, as the moisture content in the steam evaporates, it shrinks and tightens up the canvas. So actually, it's almost like shrink wrapping it to the barrel. So this is a really tight fit. And then we just staple it. We staple it along the main edge where the two pieces join just there, just over there. And then we also staple it around the outside as well. So great question. Thank you for asking, Zane. Brilliant. Right, done. Let's get the other end then. Let's get the white on. Right, bear with me, Ian. Not done this before. <laughs> I'm, having to, I'm having to get out of the way of the, cam hey, of the camera. Excuse me, watch that camera. <laughs> oh, that Not was so. close. That was close. Right, the white's on the end. Come on, Ed. <laughs> sort it out, son. Right, sorry. Uh, Ian, yes. Um, what, so, dude, just tell me that question again that Ian asked. Ah, the fluffy bit. No. Um, yeah, so what we basically got, Ian, I've, I've oversized the canvas to what will actually be a finished size. So where you see the fluffy bit, it's coming up, there it is, where the canvas joins. No, I mean, we might get a little bit of runoff onto the underside, which is probably understandable, uh, where it's going to go underneath the lip, which I'm not too worried about. But actually, considering this is 3.2 metres long, well, in circumference, uh, which is quite a sizable canvas. It will probably have a finished size. <laughs> Just trying to catch it before it runs. It will probably have a finished size of around about 250. So if I have to lose some off either end, no big deal. But yeah, it shouldn't have any effect, hopefully, even if the paint runs underneath itself. Makes sense. Now, admittedly, you guys probably, let's come around here. Can't really see the white on at the moment, but I want to get there. We go. I want to get some white on because what goes on next, obviously, is going to have an impact on it. And despite the fact that the technology is doing the work for me, as you can see, I'm probably going to have my work cut out this evening. <laughs> okay, brilliant. So that's got the white and the black on. Right, guys. Let me ask you. If I was to go, let's take you up here, Instagram. If I was now to go and put on a single colour next to the white, what's it going to be? T tell me what it's going to be. What should be, if I'm going light to dark, what's my next colour going to be? Are we talking cream? Are we talking gold? Are we talking yellow? What do we, what do we think here, everybody? Ah, Richard Bull is here. Good evening, Richard from downtown Bromsgrove. Looking forward to seeing a masterpiece created on the move. Very nice to see you here. And Funny Fox, I've just been told, is here as well. Good evening, Funny Fox and Carl Miles Art and Nancy Stone. This is great. 2610 is a bit late. Get get to the back of the class. You're late. Only joking. Richard says red. Right, okay. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. I think, I think, yeah, silver, actually, it's a good good, uh, good shout, Rita. I've, I've actually run out of silver, so otherwise silver would have got my vote. So i tell you what I'm gonna do. We're gonna put a drop of this on. And then we're going to go into, I think, probably yellow. Now, this is where I've got to 
sort of uh, be, oh, I've got to be so careful here, haven't I? Let's go from this side. Let's go from this side. All right, so here we go. Let's see. There. Right, so these are where I'm going to start my lines. Am I anywhere near the line on the other side? Not too bad, not too shabby. Remember, we're going from light to dark. So we're going to get the black on the other side, sort itself out. What did I just do with my paintbrush? I'm seriously going to run out of these tonight. Okay, love it, love it, love it. Right then, let's position ourselves here. So this is where I really want to start and just spread the paint out. What I'm looking to do now is start and bring these beautiful bands in. Now, one of the many different... Sorry, it's me concentrating. I can't do two things at once. <laughs> one of the many decisions that I'm going to have to be making here is the volume of paint I'm putting on and how thick or thin the lines are going to be. So what I'm trying to conjure up in my head, and I'm doing this on a sort of subconscious level because while I'm talking to you guys, I'm having to think then about what goes on next and in what quantity. Now, if I do everything of the same kind of rough quantity, then most of the bands are actually going to look the same, which is fine. But the crucial thing is, what happens if I want to mess with that a little bit? What if I want one colour that's a little bit more dominant than another? Okay, so this is where I'm going to have to start and make those decisions. But for now, now we're just starting to... Pull that out. That's nice. Now, admittedly, you probably can't see what that looks like. Now, hopefully, you're just starting to get a little bit of a band coming up on the uh, on barrel cam, as we shall now call it. So let's move Instagram over here. Let's move you guys there just a little bit. See if we can get you a little bit into the action. There we go. If you've just joined us on Instagram, thank you so much. You're watching the world's only barrel painting machine. Isn't this incredible? Where else can you get this kind of entertainment? You just simply can't. Right. So let's, uh, who's a fan of yellow? Let's, let's get in with the, we're either going to go yellow or gold, I think. Hmm. Let's ask AD, which one would you like, buddy? Would you like yellow or would you like gold? Purple. Okay. So it's, uh, it's yellow. It is then. <laughs> which color would you like? Purple. Oh, has someone else? Deb's just joined us as well. Hi, Deb. Lovely to see you. Right. And, uh, right. Angela says, oh, zigzag colours. Yeah. Oh, and check her head. Barrel cams making them woozy with their woozy emo emoji. Yes. I'm, we looked at it earlier on and we were like, okay, this is going to go one way or the other, isn't it? <laughs> right. Then, okay. Are we up for a drop of yellow, everybody? Right, here we go, here we go. Can you see? So let's get our, let's get yellow into the cream. So we're out of the danger zone with the camera. So let's, I like, I like, I'm feeling yellow. Yellow's all spring-like, so let's get a good, pretty good dollop of yellow. Right, okay, there we go. Let, let's move this line out just a little bit here. Because the, the sooner we can get all these lines on, guys, the sooner we can start having a bit of fun with it. But for now, we need to get the colour on. Okay, that's fine. So I think what I'm going to do, just before I start mixing the yellow, we're going to get some gold on. So I'm fe definitely feeling the gold. I've done a couple of paintings, which I'm working on for commissions this week. And I have to be honest, gold is featured a lot in it. So I'm really, really digging gold at the moment. So let's get some of this on. And I'm doing a bit of a zigzag, actually. Angela, yeah, why not? Why not? Why not zigzag you on? Lovely. Look at that. Don't worry, everyone. This will be nice straight lines by the time I've finished. Right. Okay. So we are back in with the brush. Now, what I might also do, actually, good idea, is just grab my uh, filler spreaders. Actually, let's pop that on. So watch what happens now with the gold as I start to go around. Oh, look at that. Now, hopefully you just caught that on the uh, on the chest cam. So let's start now and bring the yellow in. I'm going to start mixing that. Yeah, now that's nice. OK, this is this is going well. Now, I haven't done one of these for quite some time, so I'm just trying to get back into the. Into the swing of how the dynamics of this work. 
because it has been a little while. So we've kind of resurrected it. Well, you're on a roll. Uh, there's always one <laughs> joker, isn't there? <laughs> I don't know. Right, okay, that's fine. Let's leave that down there, because we're going to come down and have a look at what's going on down here. Oh, blimey. It's all going on down down below, isn't it? That's, I need to pull this over here a bit. Righty O'Reilly, what is going on there? Right, we're going to come this side now. Let's see what we can do. Let's start thinning some of this out. That's beautiful. So what I want to try and do with my bands, with my bands, just to try and smooth these out and smooth. I don't want to lose any, but I need it nice and smooth. Now, interestingly, this is one thing obviously you, you guys can't see, is that you can feel the textures of the paint underneath the brush. So I know where it's light and where it's heavy without even looking at it. Which is really quite an odd sensation. Right, okay, so great, fantastico. Right, here we go. Let's get the gold blended in. I might need some thinners. I might need some thinners and I might definitely need some more gold. So let's, I've got to work quickly now, guys. The pressure's starting to build. It might not look like it because we're going to we're going to start very shortly to get, get a, a much bigger spin on this because this isn't as fast as it goes. Oh, no. No, let me tell you. This goes a lot faster. So I need to get myself so kind of moving into gear now. We're almost in, we're going to go into top gear soon. So I tell you what, should we go up one? Should we, have, should we go up one, buddy? Let's do it. Should we do it? Do it! Just do it! Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! Make your dreams come true! Nothing is impossible! No, what are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! Yes, you can! Right, there we go. We are doing it. Okay, fantastico. Right. So, that's a much better band of gold now. Let's get the scraper sorted out. I'm just going to pop a little bit of the scraper over here. Now, there's a lot of gold on there. I can feel it. It's so difficult. Oh, Ian's on the naming game again. What did he say? A po... A, what, something? Filament? A pogey filament. Goodness me, Ian. What have you been eating? No? You have. He's had a thesaurus for his breakfast. Okay, brilliant. Right, we've got our really nice lines going. Guys, what's next? What's next on our colour spectrum from light to dark? Instagram, let's move you guys over here. What are we talking then? Are we talking orange? What are we, what are we thinking now? Let's actually pop you guys here because you can, you can see. You can see it for real. There we go. Fantastic. Thank you for joining us, Instagram. This is awesome. We're having some fun. Cheshire Paints has joined. Good evening. What do we reckon? What's our next colour, everybody? Oh, Richard Wills wants 10,000 RPM. <laughs> Colin Goody has just turned up. Hi, Colin. Last time you did the barrel, you created Purple Rain. So interesting to see how the bottom canvas comes out. Yes. Me too. Me too, Colin. So, okay. Oh, Pan. Hello, Pan. Does this thing have a name? Can I suggest the, <laughs> the Stripinator? <laughs> that is genius. The Stripinator. Where do you guys get this from? This is brilliant. <laughs> oh, I love it. This is, this is fantastic. Right, we're going to try and get the top camera back in focus. Right. Guys, I think what I'm going to do... Yeah, I like the lime green suggestion, actually. Lime green and orange. Orange is going to bring us into the reds, but then orange is goldy. So I think I am going to go with the light lime green, and then I'm going to go into... Um, or am I? No, I'm not. I'm going to go into orange. No, look, I just changed my mind right away, didn't I? Terrible, Ed. So Funny Fox is asking, how long did it take to put the barrel together? So do you mean... Uh, in general, or just the assembly today? Please let us know. Happy to answer that for you. Right, we're going in with the orange. Uh, yeah, Carl Miles. Yeah, try try, uh, try uh, purple. Yeah, like no one's mentioned that yet. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's go. I did. I did. <laughs> so Richard did. says, yeah. Um, 
I love the stripinator. That's hysterical. Uh, right, Zoe says green. Yeah, well, I was kind of like in between. So uh, what, what, what did I miss one? Ed, what's the circumference of the barrel? Very good you say that. The circumference is 3.2 meters. Hope that answers your question. Right, here we go. We're going in with the orange. Nice. Now I want a fairly strong amount of orange to go on. I'm almost tempted to pop another orange with it. But just for now, we'll stick with the one. Right, so we've got a little drip. Oh, that's a big drip coming off at the bottom. Happy days. Right, let's move that a little bit that way. Nice. Right, okay. Okay. How are we doing this end? Tracking. Tracking a little. Right, okay. So, let's go. Oh, it's gone faster. Ooh, where's my brushes? Where's my brushes? It's going faster. I can't cope. We're still getting drips. We're still getting drips. It's going faster. Oh, has it stopped? Has it stopped dripping? Oh, that's fast. I'm not sure I can keep up with this. My brain doesn't work properly. Help me. Okay, that's quite quick now. That feels very quick. I'm not sure I could cope. I might have a breakdown on air. Oh, I'm losing. What's happening to my orange? I've got lines. I oh, know I've got lines in it because I'm using the same brush. I'm joking. Oh, okay. We can see that developing. So I haven't quite got enough gold on or enough orange. I might need to get the thinners out. No, Ed, not the thinners. <laughs> right. Oh, stress. Ah, oh, God, no, no, more orange, more orange. Right. <laughs> Hi, Funny Fox. Okay, so today uh, took us about two hours or so to uh, assemble it back in the paint room. Then we had to test the uh, barrel cam, as we're calling it, which then just made windows crash completely. So we had to shut down and start up again. It's that's the gremlins that uh, Callie was saying about. We said there were gremlins earlier when we were trying to test this. What happens is, and it's all going to be on the vlog. You're going to see it all on the vlog. Uh, as we set it all up and turned on the camera, it basically crashes Windows because, let's face it, trying to run four 1080 cameras uh, through this live is pretty much pushing the limits. So today, two hours to actually assemble. It was a couple of days for me to put it together. Um, there's, a, there's spars inside it, um, getting it wrapped around and straight and level and things like that. So it was a couple of days to, 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 to build the uh, barrel machine. Hope that helps. Thank you very much, mate. Thank you very much. Well, I've had to break out the... Th yeah, so I hope that answers your questions about the tech. You know, because it is a technological achievement. It may not have transistors and computer chips in it, but all this has to be engineered, you know, to work and can work consistently because what you don't know is, is this is going to stay on after we've gone. I keep having to check the, the back here for tracking. I can't really uh, explain that. So we're okay just for now. It has moved in a little bit. So I might have to just stop that in a little while. So we're all right for a minute. I'm going to get another colour on. Right, guys, which colour are we going with next? Let's have a look at your comments. And uh, special source. Might, might be, might be. Okay, and so what do we think? Let's have a look over on Insta just while we've got those few colours on. We're all looking good. Okay, fantastico. Right, guys, let's move you around a little bit here so you can see the next one. So, uh, yeah, Ada's just talking about the tracking. You know, we're okay for a minute, buddy, considering how long it's been on. But it has moved, so I, I've, I'm still okay. I've got about, uh, about 11 mil at the moment before I'm in trouble. Right, okay, so orange, I think we need to go into... I think we probably need to go to... Hmm. Oh, this is a tricky one. Right to dark. What am I going to do here? Ah... Uh, yeah, I think we need to keep the warms going, actually. So let's go. Not quite red. Ah, no. If I go darker than I'm just talking to myself now. Okay, I like that. No, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. This is when we're going to go in with the light green next to that. That's going to be an interesting combination, isn't it? Right, if I can just find it, obviously that would be a help. There we go. Got it. Panic. Don't panic, Mr. Mannering. 
Everything is good. Right, okay, we're going light green. And then we're probably going to feature reds and burgundies and purples slightly lower down. So if they're your colours, you don't miss it. Right, well, are we ready for the green? Here we go. This is a beautiful, nice, look at that. Oh, gorgeous. I'll have to wait for the replay to watch this one. I watch barrel cam. Nice. <sighs> okay. Right, we've got some green. Happy days. Right, what did I do? And the green's coming off at the bottom. I need another one of these. Gosh, you see why I don't do these very often. The amount of materials and tools that I get through. Right, look at that. Solid, beautiful green. Sorry, dude, can you just say that again? Yeah, that's not a bad suggestion, actually. Thank you, Kat. Yeah, Aidy was just relaying your... Uh, your suggestion back to me. Yeah, I kind of got that in my head now that I want to start and think about the burgundies and going into the purples and whatnot. And when to feature the blue. Right. Hi Richard, it's Adrian. Um, yeah, no, the problem we have is with the microphone, when I switch it on, now I've removed, we had a, a trip um, system on it, and I've removed the trip system, which seems to have stopped Ed's microphone from cutting out a second I turn it on. As for the camera, the camera itself, what happens is, we have the three cameras, the corner cam, which I'll show now, then we have the PTZ, and the overhead cam. All three of those are fine and dandy, working in OBS, on their own. The second I turn on the chest cam, or as it is today, the barrel cam, because it's the fourth connection to it, OBS gets a little bit confused and starts to uh, panic and it goes into overdrive, which basically stops it from working and it has a tizzy and then I can't shut OBS because it's trying to figure out what it's doing and then basically crashes windows. That's what's happening. Now, don't get me wrong, this computer we've got here is an expensive computer and it's got a good graphics card in it and everything else. But this literally can't take the fact that we are sending out one gig a minute in information. And that's the problem. We are right on the limit of this computer saying enough. And that's the reason why it cuts out. Thank, thanks, buddy. Yeah, that's, a, that's an awesome explanation. And it is when you start to, I mean, we are starting to really go quite quick now, the barrel. When you start to think about how much data is generated from four cameras in high definition uh, at the bit rates together with the audio stream as well, which has to get uh, put out through as well and then processed via the YouTube servers and then put out, then you can see, you know, it is a vast amount of data uh, that we're producing on a, on a very consistent basis as well. So, uh, you know, it's, it's just finding a way through that with all the tech and finding a way that we can make that all work seamlessly so that you know, we, we get a proper experience for you for when you're watching. You know, that's the whole point. We want to give you something that's as good as we can possibly get it, which is why we're always consistently trying to improve the things that we're doing here. So they're great. They're great questions, guys. Thank you so much for asking those. Uh, yeah, so Funny Fox, yes, did the paint supplier uh, refund the paint order from the mixed up paints. Uh, y yes. Oh, sh ah, just spilt it. Done. Ah, talking about paint. There's, there's a fluke, isn't it? Yeah. Sorry. Just got to get the mess up, guy. Yeah. Um. Yeah. We've got two free tins, so uh, we are getting two free tins when I ne can next get over there. <laughs> so we should have some of the nice uh, Piaggio green coming over. Uh, talking of green, that's a good little segue, wasn't it? Um, I've just popped a light sort of bluey green over, so that's starting to introduce my blues. So I think what we're going to do now, I don't know who suggested a light blue, um, but we're going to go into a light blue followed by Suarez blue. Shall we do that, everybody? Ah, Devanda says it's decidedly Jamaican. Excellent. Nice. That's what we like. <laughs> Cat says it. Making her want one of those twister lollies. Excellent, I like that. Right, okay. 
So one thing I'm going to do, a little bridge between, here's a little technical thing for you. What I'm going to use now, which is called water blue, which doesn't look at all like blue. Instagram, I'm coming, I'm going to move you around in just a sec, guys. There we go. Uh, this is called water blue. So it kind of introduces you to the blue end of the spectrum uh, without it being blue. So basically, I'm going to put two lots together now, blend it together. It's the only bit of small feature because I'm right in the, in the center now. Okay, so let's get a few on there. We're going to start double blending these. All right, barrels behaving at the moment. And actually, yeah, that's pretty consistent for the tracking at the other end. So if I had my chest cam, I'd be able to show you what I was talking about, but I haven't, so you just have to take my word for it. Right, yeah, so we've got this interim here, which is called water blue, and that's going to allow us to do this, bring in some actual blue. So it's a good little sort of segue between the two. I'm going to do some fairly thinnish bands across the middle. Okay, because I want this is where your eye line is going to be drawn to. So I want some real nice intricate colours forming through the centre. And my favourite and yours, it has to be done, guys, doesn't it? Look what we're getting out. We're getting the Suarez blue out. There we go. Right, here we go. So let's see if I can just get myself a decent band on this. Don't this goes everywhere, so I I really got to be fairly sparing on this. Nothing too horrific. I've been using this recently on a couple of commissions. <laughs> they literally just go, oh my, what is wrong with me? I'm dropping everything this evening. Uh, and it literally just go everywhere. Right. Brush. Brush, brush, brush. Come on, Ed. Let's not let the side down. Here we go. We're going to go from this side. All right, let's go. Water blue first, going into normal blue. Let's see if we can maintain a line here. Nice thing about the brush, I've got a little bit more, a bit, little bit more control over what's going on. Now I do have a little bit of a gap. Not too worried about that right now. I can fill that. But for now, let's just keep these bands going. Now the brush is going to allow me to almost uh, pull. Is that the right word? Pull these blues and keep them in some stronger bands. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. So I'm just trying to keep my eyes roughly, roughly fixed on a central point here. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Okay, there's a, there's a line or two appearing, but that's fine. Let's get into the Suarez blue the other end. Okay, this is good. Now we've got no red yet, but that's fine. We're gonna we're gonna bring reds out when we do the purples. I've got to put a little swizzle here. Haha. <laughs> It looks like I'm jumping over it, does it, Richard, when you go on to barrel cam, yeah. So, well, do we like barrel cam? Is barrel cam working? Has anyone been physically ill yet? Hopefully not. Me. Me, I, me. Uh. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that. Right, so, this is good. See, what a difference, look. Yeah, for those of you that actually want to learn something. Uh, the difference you get when you use a brush to a scraper. Now, you have to be fairly blunt. Sorry, on the filler um, uh, the spreader. You have to be fairly blunt with it. But I've got a little bit more flexibility in what happens with the wrist action when I'm using a brush. But now I'm running out of brushes, so uh, that's going to make life interesting. Okay, so we got Suarez Blue. Fantastico. Happy days. Now, big question is, what are we going to go in next? Buddy, what do you reckon we should do next? Hmm? What colour? what are we suggesting i've got to change gloves here let's see what you're saying so zane says oh uh, ad we might get to purple after all mm. Yay! Now then. Yay! Uh, yes funny fox we do have a purple version of uh, the suarez uh, paint yes it's called viola but we've only ever put that on 10 paintings and i doubt we'll ever put it on any of the others um, okay, giant lifesaver roll. Dark blue, says the Rita. Okay, I like the camera on the barrel, says Trina. That's good. Barrel cram rocks. Pink. Oh, yeah. We're starting to get into the warmer tones again now, aren't we, guys? What are we saying over on Instagram? Uh, Heidi Evans. Uh, Alura Batista. Esme Johnston. Sabu Art. Hello, guys. Lovely to see you. Right, Aid is just going to pull my microphone for a second, and then we'll get we'll carry on. One, two, one, two, you lucky people. Okay, right, so I'm going to line up my next series of colours now. 
Okay, so let's see. Yes, we are going a little bit rainbow, aren't we? I suppose that was probably inevitable. So I've got a pink here. I've got a very light pink, but I don't really want to use it because it's a bit there, you know? Uh, what I need to do is just kind of figure out where I'm going to end up with my burgundies. That's quite important. Yes, it's very important. So which am I going to go in? I'm going to go red. Now I'm going to go pink. Just figure that out in my own head. Pink and purple. Purple. Purple's more to the end. So I've got pinks to do. Right, I've got to have a bridge, guys, between my blue and my pink. That's interesting, isn't it? What am I going to do? This is this is where silver would have come in, but unfortunately I've used all my silver. I didn't plan that very well, did I? Right, okay. Have I got anything else that is silver? Yes, I... Uh, yeah, I know what you mean, dude, but I think that might lighten it up. Um, okay, let's improvise here. What's that? I'm going to pick the first one off the shelf that I find. There we go. That's the one. Okay. Guys, so remember, just while I get the mystery colour out, if you're new here, first of all, thank you very, very much for joining us this evening, and we hope that you're enjoying it, especially with Barrel Cam. Oh, I've just seen Barrel Cam. Huh? <laughs> that is awesome. I've just seen it on the screen. Guys, remember, do give us a subscribe, then you'll never miss out on anything. You don't have to think twice about it. Click on the bell icon when you subscribe, and then you'll get to know whenever we are live and when the new weekly vlogs come out. We've got some sensational things planned for you this year. Excellent. And remember, you can also become a patron if you go to patreon.com forward slash Suarez Art. There is also a link down in the description. I'm sorry, Ed, is there? Yes, of course there is. We've got tons of exclusive content that you can only get when you're a patron. So make sure you go check us out. Fantastic. Remember, as we launch with the next, I'm going to show you what this is. If you're enjoying this video, so 45 people watching and only 26 thumbs up. I don't know why we've got a thumbs down. The usual person who doesn't like this for some reason, but they still keep coming back every Yay! week. <laughs> why? Why'd you come? Why'd you give a? Why'd you do that? I don't know. I don't know. Why would you give a thumbs down? It's mad. If you don't like it, go somewhere. I don't understand. But guys, if you're really enjoying this, hopefully you are because we it's want me. To... <laughs> it's me. I, I keep doing the thumbs down. It's me. <laughs> We we we've we've gone from uh, <laughs> we've gone from flat canvas to a rolling barrel. It's not just a week. It's not him. It's not him. Give us the thumbs up, guys. Okay, let's see if we can push that. Yeah, there we go. 31, 32. Fantastic. So if you're enjoying this, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Thanks, guys. Right. Okay. Here we go. So in here, hopefully, should be lilac. I don't know if anyone has suggested lilac because that's the that's the go-to between them. Ooh. So that's what I'm hoping is lilac. in this bin. Yes, lilac. Hmm. Now then, if only I could find the paint opener, we'd be in business. I've literally just had it in my hand, mate. What have I just done with my with the can opener? That's very close to purple. <laughs> it is very close to purple. How very astute. Ah, where's my paint opener tool? Can anyone see my paint opener? Ah, got it, got it, got it. Right, please be in here, purple. Oh dear. Sorry. It's not lilac. Right, okay, I'll make some lilac. That's easily done. Are we ready then? Oh no, that's disgusting. I'm not gonna use that. Oh, this is this is this is good, isn't it? Right, let's let's get you open. Right, here we go. Here's your master class in how to make lilac. Drop of purple. Purple. I'm gonna put a drop of pink in. There we go. That's an amazing pink. A uh, drop of white. And that. The, oh, hi, Chuck Higgins. Great, great question. Thank you for answering that. Why the face shield? Well, uh, unfortunately, the paints are very, very toxic. And uh, when these enamel paints have their lids taken off, there is a chemical reaction with oxygen and two hydrocarbons are formed, both of which are extremely nasty. So in order for me to still be here next week, we have to wear an air-fed respirator, which is what you can see right now. And I'm stood in a nuclear-grade paint pod, would you believe? So this will withstand nuclear fallout, which is designed that way exactly to stop me, basically, uh, from dying. It's... And obviously, as well, as you can see on the walls, 
it's also to stop the paint from melting everything. Because the paint is pretty awful stuff if you get it splashed on things like skin, you know, that kind of thing. And it does, does melt a lot of things. Right, it's the closest I'm going to get to, uh, to lilac. <laughs> Let's have a go. Right, Instagram, are you with me? Here we go. Let's get some lilac on. That's nice. There we go. Let's get this on. Let's get a nice band going there. This is going to get us into all the nice warm colours. Beautiful. Happy days. We're going to go back in with the scraper in just a second. But um, what colour am I going to go into there? I'm going to go into the darker pink before we go into the rest of them. Fantastico. And Funny Fox has donated two pounds. Hey! <laughs> Woo! Thank you, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, thank you, Funny Fox. How very kind of you. Thank you. Right. Okay, back on the overhead then. Here we go. We're going back in now. Now we're starting to get serious Instagram, aren't we? Can you guys see that okay? I hope you can. If you've just joined us, thank you very much indeed. It's great to see you here this evening, especially if this is the first time that you've seen one of our live broadcasts. We've really pulled the stops out this week by doing Barrel Week. Okay, fantastic. Then, when all the colour is on, that's when the real fireworks are going to start. Okay, this is good so far. These nice sort of layers, these lovely bands. That's beautiful. Looking great. I'm really liking the whole rainbow stripes thing at the moment. Fantastico. Right. Yes, thank you, Rita. Yes, it is quite a nice lilac. That's just pink, white and purple. So it's just uh, just a fairly standard lilac, but I'm glad you like it. Thank you very much. It's very kind of you, the Rita. Was that the Rita, was it, buddy? It was. Thank you, Rita. Okay, so now, finally. See, I was very, very tempted to go with red up by the orange, but I uh, I thought not. I thought not of it. Ah. Right. Okay, so. I think, I think now, but hey, dude, can, can you see on the overhead what we're about to do now? Can you see that? Mm. Is that purple? Ooh, purple. It's purple, Yay! my friend. It's purple. Just for you, buddy. Just for you. Um, oh, Zane's asking, yes. Uh, what happens to those hydrocarbons, nasty as they are, when pumped outside into the environment? Plus, do the chemicals leach from the paintings over time? What? A sensational question, Zane. If I had an award for the best question asked ever, I think that would have to be nominated right so zane let, yes very happy to answer questions well what we do we have quite a sophisticated filtration system here in actual fact we capture virtually all of the hydrocarbons in a, a large what looks like a nappy so uh, in fact as part of the filtration system uh, we do actually catch capture those so we're not harming the environment uh, over time no actually because all the hydrocarbons become inert after a period of uh, four days. Um, so irrespective pretty much of how thick the paint is, with some very, very exceptional circumstances, then all the paintings are inert after around four days, certainly of the harmful stuff anyway. Now you can quite often get a residual smell from the base resin, which is not a toxic material that can stay around for a couple of weeks. Uh, but the client would never see that because the paintings are never never delivered to a client until probably three or four weeks after they're cured anyway. Even someone wants to buy it from, you know, having just been done. That makes sense. Well, can we also say Chuck Higgins, thank you very much, has just donated $4.99. Can we give him a kachia daily? Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's very kind of you, Chuck. Thank you. Yay. <laughs> Thanks very much, Chuck. Oh, very kind of you. And also to Funny Fox, our donator so far this evening. Thank you very much. That's really, really kind of you. And Countryside Studios, Stepan Kubart and Lee Rapp. Guys, very nice to see you. And thank you always again, because I recognise a few of your names for supporting us on Instagram. It is gratefully appreciated, Lee and Cubart. 
and uh, Countryside Studios. Thank you guys for following us. That's absolutely fantastic, and we really, really do appreciate it. I want you to know that. In fact, we appreciate you always coming back here every uh, every week, guys. We really, really do. You know, we we do this because we enjoy it. But more importantly, it's great to have a community around us. And plus or minus ever selling paintings, which is a commercial thing. It is such a comforting to thought to know that we've got friends who want to come back and see what we're up to and who are interested in what we do. And it's a very, very important part of what we do here, guys. So I just want to, on behalf of Adi and myself, actually just get a bit serious for a minute. I'll try not to get a tear in the eye. But we do genuinely mean that. Uh, what is life if, uh, if you're isolated and it's so so comforting to know that you come back week after week and support us and you're enthusiastic and we have our own community and people are getting to know each other and we all have a love just of nice happy colourful things and I think that's amazing guys so thank you so much for, from both of us so I do mean that and I think even whoever it is that gives us a thumbs down Secretly, they enjoy it. I, I think they do. I think it's just their thing. You know? But wouldn't it be nice if that, you know, <laughs> that frowny face was turned into a smiley face? Yeah, that thumbs down was turned into a thumbs up. That'd be nice. Great, one, buddy. Yes, absolutely. I, th I think they, I think they do secretly, uh, secretly enjoy that uh, they give the, thum the thumbs down. Right then. Okay. So we are on to purple. This is looking pretty good. I've got another purple I'd like to pop in there. So we're going to put the big main purple away just for a minute. And controversially, I'd actually like to do something. This might look like a little bit out of sequence, but I want to put this burgundy in and uh, just because I love it. So I'm just going to put a tiny little feature of that next to the purple. I know technically speaking, it's lighter, one could argue. But we're going to get that bad boy in there. And this is just before we start to get the chemicals on, guys. So don't move a muscle. Don't go anywhere. We don't want you to miss the best bit at the end. All right. This is all building us into a big crescendo. I can feel it coming. Oh, this is good. See, we're, we're, we're rocking and rolling this evening, aren't we? Right. So we're going to go with a different purple in here now. There you go, Adi. Just for you. There's another purple. Yes. Okay. And that's another purple in there. Fantabulous. Now, are there any major colour groups that we've forgotten to put in here? Because this would be quite an interesting point to put them in. I'm looking around, but I'm thinking we've pretty much got everything here. There are just a couple that I want to put in. And then I'm really, really, really super tempted to put a great big splash of white down here somewhere. What do we think of that? What do we think of that? Let me know. Right, okay, let's get this spread out. So I'm going to come back here, trying not to trip over Instagram. Uh-oh, Instagram. What's happened to Instagram? I'm low power mode. No, no. Sorry, sorry about that, everybody. We're unfrozen again now. I've got paint all over me. The paint's going everywhere. We need to change gloves. Sorry about that, guys. Doesn't matter how much I charge my phone. Yeah, we all seem to have a low power. Right, okay. This is good. We're doing great. Happy days. Now, you might all be wondering, okay, Ed, now you're pretty much at the darkness and you've still got this great big white paint bit. What are you going to do with that? Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, what am I going to do with that? So I think we're definitely going to have to feature some more gold. All right, we're not fixing the rules, okay? We're being flexible on them, which is the great thing about art. You can react to what you're doing, especially things like this. You can't really react to someone's portrait, I suppose. They've got have eyes and noses. We didn't Picasso realise that in his cubism phase, but uh, this one. Ah, Funny Fox just mentioned chocolate brown. How interesting. I don't know if you can pick that up. I've actually just put that on. That's the leading colour at this, uh, well, the way I'm seeing it, the right-hand edge, which is very interesting. This is, this is looking nice now. So I'm gently just teasing some of this out to make a more solid line on the right hand side. That's the right sort of my side over here. If you can see that, there we go. I'm trying to just, I'm putting a different amount of pressure on my filler thing. It's 
So Pan says, have I tried splashing paint on it? Well, yes, actually, in the first barrel painting, I did. That's exactly what I did. And uh, we did some, it, well, it turned out very interesting, I must admit. Uh, but tonight, I mean, we did discuss that, Aidy and I, before we came on air. Do I just basically just chuck stuff at it and see what happens? But historically, having tried that before, it doesn't tend to finish too well. Um, so anyway, right, let's go to this end, hopefully, on the, on barrel. Hello, on barrel cam. And we go, uh, oh, hello again. Yes. Right. <laughs> Ready? Uh, oh, no, you've gone again. Right. OK, let's go for the gold. Let's go in for gold. This is my last gold as well. It's not good, is it? I need to get some more gold. We can't survive on just a little bit of gold, Ed. We need, we need more. So I'm trying to be... Uh, and, uh, oh, hello again. Uh, <laughs> it's funny. Hello again. <laughs> oh, this is too... Oh, hello. I just saw myself on the laptop. That looks very weird. Right, okay. That is gold. Right, fantastico. I'm sorely tempted to go for a light cream at the end. Oh, what do we think? What do we think, guys? Yeah, just to maybe just to kind of mess things up a little bit. Yeah, I quite fancy that. Quite fancy that. Let's bang some cream on there, guys. Lovely. Woo! Right, Instagram, how are we doing? Thank you so much for staying with it. Uh, if you've been here from the start, well done you. Right. Oh, who said the golden sunset? Angela, what a great suggestion. Yeah, if you've got any suggestions for names, please keep it clean. It's a family show. Oh, have we lost a camera? Aid's gonna, Aid's gonna check. We've lost a camera. Oh no, we've lost a camera. Your screen's gone blank. Oh, Sakur, what are we gonna do? <sighs> There's always one camera that goes down. He's got it back. Aid's done the business. Well done, Squire. Right. Insta, let's move you guys here. Oh my word, how how happy is this looking? Who said it looks cool? Art by Lomholt. Looks cool, thank you so much. Uh, Sharon Nicholas, Big H Chan, and Art by, oh, Lomholt, join, yeah. And uh, great, fantastic. Lots of you joining, thank you so much. Right, let's get this spread out. I'm, I'm, feel, I'm feeling the gold and I'm feeling the black. Now, if you haven't seen this from the start, everybody, and I did mention that we will be cutting this down a little bit. So in the weeks to come, hopefully you'll tune in. And when we've got this actually finished, uh, we'll show it to you. In fact, I think, mate, we'll probably start a live stream out in the gallery one of the days. And uh, we'll show everybody just how awesome this looks. Because I just know, and I because I know how they finish off. I'm gonna, Don't worry, I'm going to put the black back on very shortly. I know how these finish off. They're, this is just going to look absolutely unreal. It really is outrageously good when it's done. There'll be so many horizon points and, you know, lots of different focal points you can pick out. So Richard saying, imagine how cool grayscale would look. I know. We, we even toyed with that, didn't we, mate, about doing a monochrome this evening? Yes, we did. Okay, this is good. So... Up on the end here, I'm just trying to smooth the paint out a little bit. Look, can you see what I'm doing now? I'm actually making a secondary line of gold. So this is almost getting a little bit monochromatic at the end. Uh, I mean, not the end of the stream, I mean at the actual end of the paint, this end of the painting. So I'm just going to smooth that out just a little bit. I've just got to concentrate now because I need to reintroduce the black okay, before we do anything else. Because then I'm going to have a quick look at what's going on down below. Woo -hoo -hoo. We're going to have a little bit of fun with that, I think. Right, where's my black gone? There it is. Let's get the black on. We'll introduce this, and then we're going to give this a little spray, guys. And I'll show you what happens when we spray it. Oh, what a happy thing. I'm just looking. Oh, where's, where's? Oh, barrel cam, hello. Let's see if I can wave at you. Uh, barrel cam. Hello, hello, hello. And we're coming back up with barrel cam. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, this is too much fun. This is too much. I just want to stay here tonight and just do this. Right, here we go. So I'm round the other side. I know you can see me over. Peter said it's having a look on the floor. Let's just get this smoothed out a little bit. And have a look. So we're now on the overhead. So I'm on a different standing position. I'm on the opposite side now. I want to go back to a question that Ian, I think it was Ian Holmes, said um, at the start. Now we're on the all cameras. Uh, view about what impact the join would have. Well, so far, Ian, I'm happy to report 
does look to be much paint gone underneath it, so I think we're in pretty good shape as far as that's concerned. Right, okay, my friends. Are we ready? We're going to give it a little bit of a spray. Uh, do, 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 do. Crimson and clover over and over. That's very good. I like that. Right, okay, so I'm starting with the black here. And uh, what I'm going to do, actually, I'll come around there so uh, I think my friends on Instagram can see it. Oh, Paintopia Jen. Hello, Jen. Nice to see you. Benny Cassis is here. Right, let's give that a little bit of a spray. So we're just going to smooth the black out now because I want this to kind of interact with itself and just kind of finish off here. Excuse me. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but further up the painting, they've got a few gaps. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to thin the paint down and we're going to tease. I'm going to tease some of these lines into each other. And of course, what do we get when we mix the colours? Well, we get a hybrid of the two. So what's going to be very, very cool and very interesting now is to see what happens as we start to thin the paint. So this right this very second now is for me to try and define the lines just a little bit more. I'm being very, very careful on the amount of pressure that I'm putting on to the end of the brush. And gently now as I'm moving it up, it's releasing the pressure from one colour to the other. So hopefully I'm starting to delineate some of these darker lines. I could definitely feel the brush dragging now, which is a great sign. So we'll lift off. That's great. Now look at that in the black. That's what I call black. Yes, indeedy doody doos. Right. Okay, that's one brush out. I literally, I, I tell you, I could need a thousand brushes right now, and I've got none. I think I've actually run out of brushes as well. Oh, Lord. Right, so I've got to come up with a plan B, which should be interesting. Um, are you all right with the focusing, buddy? You see? Okay, he's just doing some manual focusing. Right, where are my gaps? I'm going to go... Yeah, let's... Uh, I think, actually, I might just lower the speed down just a little bit. Right, that's better. Now I can see what's going on. Woof! That was quite a ride, wasn't it? Okay. So, there. 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 That's fine. Oh, there's a big band missing there. Oh, this is looking like the moons of Jupiter. There. We need it. Now, am I missing anywhere else? I don't want to go too crazy with the thinners. That's quite an important thing. There, I need it. Right, okay. We're going in with fingers, guys. Okay, here we go. This is where it's all going to get fun and interesting now. So, let's see if I can... This finger's going to do anything. No, don't like that. So, we're going to change that. We're going to change that for, oh, we're going to change it for digging into the bin and getting the tools out. There we go. <laughs> I ain't got a choice. <laughs> yeah, I was looking for that. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's try that. I just suggested something in my ear, guys. Just bear with me. Um, yeah. Oh. Have we lost another camp? We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. Bear with us. Bear with us. This is the crucial bit now. We all... We... Thank you, Nancy, for the suggestion. Moons of Jupiter. Yes. Right, okay. Oh, did I say it? Okay. I thought Nancy said it. Right, okay. So, uh, we're going <laughs> to cut a bit of scraper down. So, let's go. Let's see, if I can, let's see if I can do this here. Tense moments, everyone. I can win or lose it right now if I mess this up. Can't afford to introduce any other colours into the ones I've already got, so I'm having to be really quite careful now. So we're in the process of. Oh, this is so tense. This is so tense. Why do I do that? Why do I put myself through this? Feeling that? Have I covered it? I've covered it. I've covered it. Right. Okay. That's one. Other side. Other side. Where did? Where did we get to? Where did we get to? Here it is. Here it is. Yes. There it is. In the red. In the red. Let's try the red there. Let's try the red there. So we can cover it up. Coming up now. Of course, I've now got to wait for it to rotate again. Oh, this is so difficult. I might have to stop it. Right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to stop it. Uh, there. Woo! Right. Fortunately, I hope barrel cam now looks a doesn't look so crazy. There we go. Look, you can see me doing a little bit there now on barrel cam. 
This is better, actually, because... Oh, that's much better, yes. Stop it rotating, Ed. It wasn't difficult, was it? Right, okay, so that's pretty good. And that one's done. So now I need to cut myself another piece. And... Uh, oh, I should sleep well tonight. Right, let's get... So we're on the overhead now, so I've got to go back to this side. So we're missing... We've got a line here on the purple. So let's get that dabbed in. And then I think we've got one on the other side as well. Oh, there's definitely a couple here. So these are the bits I've just got to turn my attention to, guys. Now, of course, <laughs> if you want to know the other thing, the tricky thing while I'm here, is, of course, with it being stationary, I'm liable to get drips forming. So I've got to be really super careful on how long I keep this stationary for. And in fact, we're probably going to have to keep this rotating after we finish. We're going to have to just be very, very careful on how we approach this. I hope you're enjoying this, guys. Remember to give us a nice thumbs up. If you're enjoying this, which of course you are because you're still here. So let's just get the red dealt with. It's funny, isn't it, where the time goes, eh? It literally feels like I've just started it. Right, okay, so aid is feeding back to me now on where we're at on the overhead. So let me give it a single rotate, buddy. Right, should be the other side now. Uh, let's just see. So we're still okay tracking-wise. It's stabilised itself, so that's good. So I don't have to worry about it hitting itself. Oh, guys, I wish you could see what I can see. <laughs> this is shaping up to be something pretty special. Well, I think we've hit them all there. I think we got it, mate. I think we got it. So I'm going to give that a rotate. I'm going to run my finger over one piece of it. And then there's just something in the blue that I need to quickly look at. All right. So we're almost, almost there, everyone. We're almost there. Insta, are, we still, are we still there? Thank you so much. Okay. I'm going to have a quick look between the yellow and the gold to make sure we're not missing anything there. Thank you if you've just joined us, guys, on Instagram. Um, no, it's there. Hang on. We're just going to look again. No, I think it looks all right, dude. Yeah, I think it is all white. I'm just making sure everything has got a sheen on it. Yeah. Yeah, this is um, between yellow and gold. Oh, sorry, here, you mean? Sorry. Oh, yes, I see what you mean. There is a tiny bit. Yes, okay. No, sorry, yes, I was looking at the wrong bit. Right, sorry, guys. Yeah, here. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, Richard. <laughs> Missed a bit. Let's just get there. I'll probably end up going to lose this bit anyway, but that's fine. At least we've got it dealt with, buddy. That's fine. Good spot. Right. Let's get that done because there was uh Let's just make sure I've got everything. There's a tiny bit here on the, between the purple I need to sort out. Uh, and it's just where it's... I don't know. It's, it's just lost its line. Just trying to just figure that out. I think, think we got it there. That's fine. Then the other side, I'm literally just going to... Go in here between the lilac and the blue. My only worry is I've lost the Suarez blue just a little bit. So let's just see if I can tease. Oh, this is so difficult. Tease the lilac a little bit just to bring out some of the Suarez blue. If not, I'm going to put a line of Suarez blue back in because we've missed it, haven't we? Can't see it. Just needs that tight right. So this is it, guys. This is the make or break. We're quite stressed now, so I'm going to get a shot. Is there a spot? Is there a spot on the gold? Right. And who pointed that out? Richard, thank you, thank you, Richard. Okay, so, uh, yeah, are we looking there? There, right? Okay. Yeah, got it, got it. Right, okay. Let's get the let's get the blue one. Let's get the blue one. Just need it here. And obviously, I've got to blend this. It's so tense. 
It's all gone quiet out there, isn't it? I can feel everything's gone quiet. <laughs> right, so uh, let me just come around here. Let me come around here. Have I lost power? Oh, we know we've still got power on my phone. Oh, Instagram, I tell you. Oh, what's out? Yeah. Right, let's see if we can get Suarez Blue. Just that little feature, Ari, because it is such a gorgeous colour. Right, we've got our mountain ranges back. Woo! Okay, that's fine. A little, just a little soup on of that. I think that'll do. Now, can I? Where's me? Oh no, where's me brush, Mrs. There we go. Get the brush on that. Sorry, dude. Yeah. Okay, so got that, just that tiny bit of gold. Oh, I had to concentrate then, didn't I? Yeah, so which Richard pointed out, which was there. Right, okay, I need to stop that. Right, uh, one rotation again. There. We're so, so close here. Sorry, we've lost the camera again. <laughs> no! Right when I'm touching up the gold. Okay. Okay. Okay, I think. Oh, finding little bits. Right, I'm definitely going to have to concentrate now, everybody. Sorry. It's literally there. Okay, right. right, okay, I'm going to have to keep it rotating, but uh, what I'm going to do very, very quickly, see if I can do this, and then I'm going to have to rotate it again, otherwise it's good. Uh, no, actually, where's the where's the fold gone? The fold is at the bottom, so if it goes around there, that's fine, so that's okay, I don't mind that. Right, shall we see if I can show you what's going on down here? Okay, so we're going to go on bet barrel cam, and... Uh, See if I can remember. Gloves are off, buddy. Um, no, there's no rubber bit. Rubber bit. Ah, yes. Yeah, sorry. Apologies. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> sorry. Just trying to. You can probably see my fingers on it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Right. Okay. Woohoo! Uh, oh, and I need to get the this one off as well, don't I? Off. Okay, this will be worth it. Trying to give you a proper look at this. Right. Oh my goodness, we are properly... Look, here we go. Here we go, chest cam, right. Can you see what I see? No. Oh. It's not just bands, is it? And of course, it never is. It develops. It becomes organic. It moves. It starts to wander. Yes, look, we've got horizons. We've got stars. We've got gas clouds. And we've got thick paint. And we've got thin paint. And we've got bands of gold. And we've got delicious monochromes. And if you go over the other side, look. Hello. Ooh. Look at that. Yes, Nancy, I'll go back in just a second. It's just... And now, even now, I can see the textures forming. So as we keep this spinning... Ah, oh, this is utterly delicious. This is what we've all waited for. And look! Look what's going on! What is this? <laughs> this is what we've collected on the floor! Oh, my goodness me. This is just about as much fun as you can have with paint. Look at that. Now, look. 
See what's happening? We're already starting to get dribbles. All right. So I've got to be very, very careful. Okay. This is good. Right. Let's keep you with me, chess cam. Right. Where do we need to go? Where did, uh, who was it we mentioned? Nancy said. Red and dark colour. White spot. There is a couple of tiny little spots there, but I'm going to give it a dosing with thinners and spin it round now. So we should, we shouldn't have that issue. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's just tiny little bits here and there. Oh, look. Hello, Instagram. <laughs> there we go. Uh, there's everyone joining. Fantastic. So, guys, that is it. Let's get this spinning back round again. So there we go. You can see. There we go. Keep that spinning round. Right. Now, it, interestingly, you can see some lines appearing and some some let's see if i can catch it some blobs appearing on the top so i want to make sure now i'm going to give this a little spray just so i move all of the paint i literally i, I just don't want this to start forming patterns in all the wrong places but that's it guys look that is now you can see it first person on the wireless cam isn't that a happy thing Oh, are we liking that? Isn't that good? Look, and this is the view that I can see on the laptop. So, uh, Funny Fox says, Lush. Andy Hill says, wow. Uh, Cameron says, looks amazing. Ed, check the blue. Mm, still looks okay to me. I know the Suarez blue is probably uh, washed out a little bit, but you know what? That's pretty cool. I don't mind that. Uh, okay, Zane Taylor, spin it fast. Uh, and the funny fuck says Uranus gases. Yes, it does. It is very much like uh, like the planet. Uh, okay. Yeah. No, I'm just going to spin it up a little bit. There we go. Right. So we're going to pop the camera down over here now. So that's your camera done. Let's see if we can put that there. Is that okay, buddy? Can we? Uh, can we still see see things on that. Right, let's uh, let's push that down just a little bit. Is that better? Oh, just fell over. Why is that just fell over? Oh, stand up, you silly camera. No, don't fall over. What words to words? Oh, how ridiculous. I just had it and then it fell over again. Right, there you go. Perfect. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> So, Bert Ernie, thank you so much. Says it looks amazing. Angela says beautiful. And um, Nancy says beautiful. Uh, the thumbs down has disappeared. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Very good. Uh, Ian says promiscuous cascade. Wonderful. Fantastic. So, so the reader says, will you give it? Oh, sorry, uh, Instagram. Uh, yeah, so the reader says, will you give it a, uh, will you keep it spinning as it dries? Yes, is the answer. We'll basically put this on a timer and give it a couple of hours. Um, okay, because we've got a, a work from home day tomorrow. So uh, I don't want to uh, chance this by leaving it on for, you know, well, and we're out on Friday, so two or three days. So yes, yeah, so we'll, so we'll put a plug-in timer in and we'll go from there. Right, just one last thing I need to give, and that's just give it a little spray, which I would do if I could find my sprayer. <laughs> oh, here it is. It's because it's covered in paint, just like everything else. Now, Instagram, stay where you are, because we're going to have a little bit of a look after uh, the broadcast at what's been going on. But now, there's just a couple of places I just need to, you know, just there. I need to catch the purple just there. That's fine. That's fine there. I don't want to do that. That's fine. Just a little bit of a spray there. The green's okay, but I did notice there. Just needs a little bit of a rotate. And then we had a couple, didn't we, just here, there. That's it. That's all it's going to get. Wowzers, guys. I think we're done. Can you believe that? Can you believe yeah. that? That's just uh, sensational. Well, woo. So, Multi Revelator, you've certainly turned that around since the beginning of the stream. Thank you. And uh, flip your calendar. Oh, yes, of course. Of course, it's not February anymore, Cat, is it? No. Look. It is March. Remember, we've still got a few of these left if you want to get our exclusive calendars, but you have to sign on to Patreon to do it. Link is down in the description. You can get one of these beauties, which I'll even sign. Incredible, the gift that keeps on giving. Oh, 
as if I will sign them, yes. Say what? <laughs> so, guys, thank you so much. Wow. Haven't we done well? I can't believe it's nearly five to nine here. Goodness me. How amazing is that? Listen, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have you enjoyed that? Let us know in the comments down below. Yeah, just drop us some comments, all right, down below the video. Uh, I think this is fantastic, and I can't wait for this to be dry so we can get this stretched around a frame, and then we can show you, which is the whole point. Brilliant. So, everybody, thank you so much for, for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed the stream this evening. Aidy, have you got anything you'd like to say? Thanks again, everybody, for your participation. A um, bit of a long one, this one, but what we'll probably do is we'll get an edit and put this down to sort of a 10, maybe 15 minutes, something like that, of the, the highlights of it. Uh, yeah, just appreciate all your feedback. And um, Funny Fox was asking what we do when we work from home. Well, it's basically computers, it's Pinterest, it's Instagram, it's uh, if we've got to do editing and things like that, or if we've got to cut the pieces down to go to the editor, it's everything computer-based, things like that. Um, the best way is that Ed's doing his on his computer. I do the stuff on my computer. We've got two computers working at once. I'm not sure if I'm going to be lying in bed, like hanging from this inoculation I have had, but I shall attempt my very best to do that. But uh, yeah, thanks again for your participation. Brilliant stuff. Thank you very much, everybody, for joining us this evening and making this such a memorable stream. I've had a whale of a time. I literally could do this all night long, and I mean, I'm shattered and fatigued, but I could still carry on. So, thank you so much for watching, everybody. We really, really appreciate it, and we do mean that. We're going to be here live, same time next week, doing it all over again with something completely different. Run and tell your friends, because it's the best fun you can have with your clothes on, let's be honest. Guys, wherever you are, whoever you're with and whatever you're doing, thank you so much for watching. We've had a blast and we really look forward to seeing you same place, same time next week. But from AD and myself, we wish you a very good evening. And from Swarovski, we're officially out of here. And good evening.